Hi, I'm Henry Coombs at CADLINE, and I'm going to show you how we can easily navigate around a model using BIM 360 Glue. First of all, I've preset up some views in my right hand corner to make it a little bit easier. So, for example, I've already set a view at the front of the building on the ground floor. Um, and the main way to navigate around a model is by using this navigation wheel, which follows your mouse around with you everywhere. And you can access this by accessing this toolbar on the right hand side and clicking full navigation wheel and that will appear. So we have a number of different options here. We have zoom, orbit, pan, rewind. We can walk, we can center, we can look and we can use our up and down function there. I'm just going to walk by holding in with my left click and dragging forward. You can see a little arrow appears and where that arrow appears is the direction that we're going to be walking. So I can just stop. And we can utilize our pan feature to look up on the first floor. Now we can walk up the stairs if we like, um, but we're just going to uh, use the pan feature to get up there because it's, it's a little bit easier so we can select pan on our navigation wheel i can just drag my mouse up and that will just pan me up there and then what i can do here is i can use my zoom feature so i can just click and i can drag that along you might need to just rearrange as you go i can zoom there and now you can see i'm on the first floor there we now have uh the ability to look around. So I can hold my look feature there and go left and right. And just have a little look around there. Turn that all the way around. And then we might want to go back and do a little bit of walking. So you can see a combination of all of these options will allow you to navigate around the model now remember all the while you're doing this you're able to save viewpoints as shown in a previous video and this will help when you do your walk around in your design team meetings uh, and you can mark up things and you can just keep a keep track of everything that you spoke about in that meeting uh, so now let's go and turn off some geometry and to do that I've, I've set up a, 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 a view here uh, in room two on the ground floor so I'm just going to double click there and that's taken me to room two what I can do here is I can just select for example this ceiling I can right click and I can hide that ceiling you can see now it's exposed all my mechanical duct work so now utilizing my navigation wheel I can use a combination of the tools to, to get up there and, and have a look at what's going on so I can see there it looks like we have a bit of duct work clashing with the steel so I can go to my navigation wheel I'm just going to zoom up there and then I'm going to go to my orbit tool now so I'm going to select on that I'm just going to spin that around there like so do a bit of panning to move myself where I need to be and I just want to check that that is a bit of duct work. So I've clicked on it there. That's duct work. And then I'm going to click on that. And it's universal beam. So I can see there I've just picked up a clash just by looking around. And again, you come back to your viewpoints here to save that and communicate that to the team as shown in previous videos.